I will let you know, I have quite a few artist friends in the area, and I can definitely share your art with them. Word of mouth spreads the word. That's been profitable for me. Money doesn't quite inspire me as much as working on the project. Look at it that way. I'm older than you, I'm sure, but I've been around the art business for years, in all mediums. Is this the way you're trying to get something for free and offer advertisement as payment? Yes, that's exactly what this is. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Easy Peasy. My name is David the Baker, and today we're going to be taking a look at our slash choosing beggars for the people who are just like please give me free stuff anyways i'm sure you guys are ready for the video so without further ado let's go can anyone give me a ride downtown tomorrow i need a ride to an appointment at 10 so pick me up at 9 and drive me home around 11 uh, i could probably do it i've got some shopping to do downtown if you pay for parking i'll drive um thanks i guess but why should i pay for parking for your car oh i don't know maybe because they're giving you a ride jesus how are people so dense am i the a-hole for demanding money for my parents to buy new clothes? Okay guys, listen. It's been three weeks since I couldn't go shopping. The thing is, I can still order online. My parents, however, told me that I can't do that because they don't have enough money at the moment. First of all, my parents have a total income of $500,000 together. So the no money bullcrap is fake. All my friends are sending me pictures of cool stuff that they bought from Gucci, Chantel, Zara, Prada, Dior. But I can't send anything because my parents refuse to put money in my card. I'm aware that this is a first world problem, but I just want to purchase new things. Plus, I can't even join calls with my friends anymore because they always talk about the stuff that they bought or when they're planning to go online shopping together. I can't do that because I have no money and I feel left out. Today, I told my parents that they're being assholes and they're the worst parents to ever exist. All my friends are getting money from their parents, but they refuse to give me anything. They got mad at me and told me to go to my room until I apologize for my mistake. Am I the asshole or are my parents the assholes? Edit. I took your guys advice and I told my parents I can do the dishes every day for $500 but they laughed at me and told me to go back to my room. Edit 2. Why did I get the facepalm award? Now I feel stupid. Why are there offensive awards available in the first place? If you awarded me with good intentions then I'm sorry but you can search for something else. Edit 3. Stop! I can just imagine this guy's getting flooded with messages like no you're the asshole for sure. Seriously though you think you're gonna make $500 washing the dishes? I don't know what reality you think you're living in where you think you can make that much. Seriously, this dude is spoiled. When your client asks if you can do it for cheaper, hey man, you get what you pay for. It is what it is. Rip to all the conversations that died after you told them your prices. Now this is something that anybody who's selling anything would understand. People come up to you saying, hey, I know the price was $20, but can you do it for three? And then when you tell them no, you're the jerk. It, like, it makes no sense. I asked Redacted to ask you for a refund. She told me that you told her no. I think you need to come up with the money somehow. Everybody that I've shown the screenshots of your art agrees that it's not worth that much. You have a very dark aura around you and you refuse to get helped. Give up on art. You will never be successful. Although I can still help you if you make the portrait. Why don't you do one of my cat too? And I'll talk to some of my friends and maybe you'll get any commissions from them too. But you can't charge that much. What are you even going to do with $300? Make it donation based or a flat fee of $100 for the size I asked. Being greedy is not going to take you anywhere. You already know what you have to do. <laughs> You're nuts. I'm posting this on Reddit. What? What's Reddit? You do not have consent to share this conversation. Do you hear me? Oh, I really looked that site up. You belong there, full of sinful and weird people just like you. I feel sorry. What are they gonna do for you? Look at your posts on Instagram. You barely have likes. I still don't want you posting this conversation. It will do more damage to your already failed art business. Missed call. Missed video chat. Missed video chat. Answer my calls. I know you're online. Well, this person is insane. I still don't get the ideology of, oh my gosh, this is too expensive. I can't afford it, but you should still do it for me for free. What? You don't want to do this for me for free? What are you, some kind of weirdo? That logic makes no sense. Hi everyone, I have a YouTube channel and I'm in need of a free editor. Must be available 24-7. Also, must have Premiere Pro or better professional studio. Again, must be free and must be male because women aren't good at computers. Ooh, not only are you a choosing beggar, but you're also a sexist. Oh, I've done this one before. This guy's a creep. All right, check this out. Hi, um, remember me? Oh, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, I haven't talked to you since high school. I heard that you do art now. Yeah. Glenn told me, lol. Remember him? Yeah. He stalks your Insta. Oh, okay. So you do commissions? Um, yeah. Cool, cool. Excuse my French, but uh, can you do porn? Yeah, what kind? It's for a friend, by the way. Glenn. Yeah, sure. Anyways, what type? Okay, so I'm just gonna say it. What's in my head right now? So, you know, like Ari? Well, I want a mu- 
than tails. Oh wow, I just went to eat by the way. Yeah, I know, a bit weird, but can you draw it? Yeah, I've done worse. How do you want it drawn? Well, make it realistic and hot. Like not just her, but me too. Yeah, sure, I can do that. That'll be quite expensive. Oh yeah, the payment, haha. <laughs> How much? Five bucks seems fair. What? LOL, you're joking. Yeah, like you've been drawing for like what, two years? Come on, bro, for Glenn. I don't even know who Glenn is. Fine, how much? At least 50? Come on, drawing isn't as easy as you think, and I have classes to be in, so this will take up quite some time. Yeah, well, I'm not paying that much for someone with barely any experience. Well, you can find someone else to draw it. Look, I'm trying to bring you some business. The people I show it to might also commission you. <sighs> be smart for fuck's sake. Well, I don't need your $5 or the disgusting people you'll show it to to get commissioned. If you want good art, just pay the dang price or look somewhere else, you poor it. Oh, really? I'm poor? I don't need a f to tell me I'm poor. Oh, <laughs> with the N word, with the hard R, this, this man went off. He's not only a pervert, he's not only a liar who definitely stalks this artist's Instagram post, but he's also a racist. Wow, wow, this guy's the trifecta. Here's the pitch. The former god of war is drafted into being the new god of love. If you're interested, send an example of your work to this email address. Looking forward to hearing from you. No budget means work for free. I remember when I used to take jobs like this. Yeah, well, I'm looking for a piano teacher that needs to be available for 30 days full time. There is no pay, and at the end of the 30 days, I need to play a full concert for 500 people. If you're interested, send a demo tape of your ability to extort the third world at gmail.com. Seriously? Yeah, well, I'm looking for 50,000 rupees, but no work involved. Please contact me for bank details. Aw, oh, man, now they're just trolling this guy. Hey, guys, I'm looking for a roommate. Rent I can do is about $250 to $300 a month. Looking for either downtown or Mount Pleasant area. A girl roommate would be better. I have three pit bulls, but I'm COVID free as you can see that I got tested. I don't work, but I'll normally be hanging out in the living room, not doing much, but watching Netflix and staying out of the way. By the way, I'm only considering places with a saltwater pool and a gym with free weights that go above 75 pounds. Much appreciated, John. <laughs> oh, John. Life is about to kick you in the ass. Good luck trying to find this magical living area. I guarantee you that it absolutely does not exist. This whole not being able to find a babysitter that I don't have to pay is hard. I'm over it. Well, I've got a brilliant idea. Why don't you just pay the babysitter? Influencer's Guide to Free Cake. Need a cake for a personal birthday, baby shower, or wedding? Well, let's look at the number of followers you have. If it's under 10K, around 10K to 100K, or above 100K, you have to have a budget for a cake. If you have no budget, do it yourself or go without a cake. You really don't need it. If you have some budget, but very small, go to a supermarket and buy a cake. If you have lots of cash, but you don't want to spend money on a cake, you are a parasite. No cake for you. I just spoke with my agent. A US history magazine asked if I would be prepared to research and write a 5,000 word piece on the rise of Mussolini. My agent said yes and gave them the cost for this. He was told that I was being greedy and should support the new media. I have posted before about this expectation and so much of the media for work to be done for free because other people are starting out. I did, however, enjoy my agent's reply to them, which was, I get 15% of whatever he gets, so that's a no. Touche, agent, touche. $400 MacBook Pro 13 inch, mid 2012. Hello, is this still available? $300 and I'll pick it up tomorrow. How about we meet in the middle with $350? Does it come with a charger? Yes, of course. Hmm, that's not the middle. Middle $200. You want $300, I want it for $400. The middle is $350. Well, I can't. Thanks, but sorry. My middle is $200, but I wanted it for $300. Ah, uh, yes, it's, uh, it's big brain time. Blah, I hate asking you this, but I'm out of options at this point, and I'm starving. Is there any chance you would order me something? I understand if you're like, off, lol. You're still at this address? Yes. KK, hmm? Is that a yes, or do you want to know what I want? Haha. <laughs> Here, I ordered you a pizza. It's a large and should have leftovers for a few days. Why would you do it like that? Do what? I was gonna ask for a soda. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. I'm not feeling good, and I'm sort of just out of it. Ugh, my bad. At least there will be a pizza. I didn't even want a pizza. I wanted something simple like wings. Why did you jump the gun like that? Like, cancel it. Dude, I tried to help you. I didn't have to. I don't know if 
I can even cancel it. I was trying to be nice. Food is food though. All right. I don't like their pizza. That's why I haven't gotten it in like forever. Usually got subs. I'm sorry. You've ordered pizza before and I remember that order, but I couldn't remember your subs. So I just got the pizza. I didn't have to help, but I did because I still care about you. I just don't understand why you wouldn't ask what I wanted. Like I really didn't even want pizza to be honest. That's how much I don't like their pizza. I got pizza there once, lol. Sorry, I was trying to be helpful. You said you were like starving. I got the biggest thing I could so you'd have enough leftovers for a couple days to get you by. You got pizza more than once. Hinge, could have said the nonsense. Are you going to get it or no? No, cancel it. Call them. Tell them to cancel it. It's canceled. I think they're still charging me. You'll get a refund. Not if they started making it, I don't think. So not only are you not accepting this person's generous offer, but you're also having people waste food. Wow, you're kind of a bad person. Although I can say like a little part of me is like, if you're doing the favor of getting someone food, you don't have to, but it should probably be a part of the favor to ask them what they want. I know that this person still did the right thing by ordering them food and like being considerate in that regard, but I can kind of see why it's weird not to ask them what they want before you just order them something. I don't know, maybe I've got a bit of choosing beggar in me. Selling slash swapping PS4. Hi, how many gigabytes? Says in the post, but 500 gigabytes. What's your lowest today cash? Well, I have somebody coming at seven today for 170. No, too much. I don't have my kid birthday present tomorrow. I wanna make him a present. How's 100 euros? Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to tell your kid that they're not getting a present. How do I force my artist friend to work for free? Oh, that's easy. Put a gun to his or her head. I'm sure that he or she will do what you want. Why do you expect artists to work for free when no one else does? I'm an artist and I go to the store. People expect me to pay for stuff. I have a mechanic who fixes my car and he expects to get paid. I have someone to fix my sprinklers and they expect it to be paid. I have someone to fix my toilet and they expect to be paid. Why do you expect artists are any different? It's probably because they grew up in schools that never funded their art programs. So these people grew up never understanding the value of artistic creation. At least that's my guess. To the tooth fairy. Can I please keep my tooth? Love, Ava. Here's the tooth and there's the place where you leave the money. Oh no, your kid's turning into a choosing beggar. I mean, if you wanted to be a real savage parent, you could just take the tooth and leave no money and be like, yeah, what you gonna do now? Is that mean? I don't care. I'd still do it. Well, everyone, that's my time. I hope you enjoyed this episode of r slash choosing beggars. If you did, make sure to support the channel by leaving a like down below and don't forget to press the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of all our easy peasy uploads. I'm your host, David the Baker, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out and three thumbs up.